What's happening right now is we're putting on the outfit that I'm never gonna be able to take off. <laughs> we're getting ready to compete. Let's see how you look. Beautiful. One more big smile. So there's two things that I love outside of the courtroom. And one of them is eating and cooking. And the other is dancing. When it uh, came upon me that uh, one of a charity's, uh, local charity CBC's, has this big dance competition every year to, to uh, make money, I set about getting myself asked to be one of the celebrities in their kind of dancing with the stars kind of thing. So it's probably not for nothing that I have a background in you know, theater and dance and, and stage from when I was a kid. And, and that's, you know, the theater part of being a lawyer is obviously something that you know, takes me back to those days. And I've always loved uh, the stage and, and dancing in particular. So anytime I get a chance to do that more, and that's, it's not nearly enough these days, but anytime I get a chance to do that, I, I definitely take it. This kind of Dancing with the Stars local celebrity competition, uh, the local celebrity is matched up with a professional dancer. Uh, you learn one dance, and then you perform it and on so the night of the competition. Really so it was a lot harder than I expected. I did 24 lessons. I really worked hard for that. This is really harder. <laughs> Getting ready for court is something I've done over and over and over again, and uh, it makes me nervous, but it doesn't make me scared. This makes me a little bit scared. I will either have the big trophy or I won't. In second place, Diana Tennyson, Angel Hernandez. Second, lo uh, local TV personality. He's Latin. I never had a chance. His hips were all over the place. He was, he was fantastic. It was for charity. It was for the children. I don't begrudge him. I took my little tiny second and went home, tried not to pout.